Thank you, Mom, for allowing me to stand before you today. So this started like 2012. They told me I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So the only way that they could treat me is if they do what is called laparoscopy, which means they drill inside your stomach and then they pop them out to the cyst and then they drain the water. So you are saying you had polycyst ovarian syndrome. Yes. To them who don't understand the term, it's a condition whereby you have multiple cysts within your ovaries, multiple cancer cells within your ovaries, which are painful and they are multiplying with, with time. Go on. So since 2012 up to date, I've had about seven operations. Because they will tell you probably it's because of your hormones that are in balance. They give you treatment for three days. If it doesn't work, they've got to operate you. So what happened was this year in May, uh, it was May 26. I woke up, but I couldn't sit up and I could not put my feet down. It was because they had developed again, but then one had popped out. So since the 26th of May, and not to matter, I should not be that because I could not eat solid food. If I don't drink warm water, if it is juice that I'm drinking, it has got to be a bit warm because cold ones I could not take in. But in the process, it means you cannot see your menstruation cycle. So since May until last week, I was not seeing my menstruation cycle. That's the reason why my stomach was getting big. So whenever I walk, people will be like, so how is the baby growing because the stomach was getting big? I'll just answer out of politeness and pain and be like, ah, guys, the baby's growing well. But I knew what was going on. So it got to a point three months down the line that I could not get up. And the issue is I was I'm staying on my own, so I couldn't do anything for myself. So I'll get people that are staying in the house to come and check what's going on, if I, if I can move bath or if I can do something. But it was difficult. So I said to Papa, I missed it sometime. And then he says, come to church. I couldn't exactly explain how hard it was for me to come to church. So I said, yes, Papa, I'll come, but then I didn't come. Then I sent another message, and then I said, Papa, the only place and the only person that I know that is caring for Jesus that I believe in is you. I know you are the only person who can pray for me and this will be gone. He says to me, come to church. And then he says, I'm sending you bus fare. I woke up early in the morning. I bathed, but it was hard for me to wear shoes or anything. Even if it was a flat shoe, the more that I would try to step step in or step up, the problem is I would feel like someone is poking me inside. So even if I wanted to sit or get up, I had to press the cyst in and then I could get up. But I managed to come on Sunday. So when Papa prayed for me, my stomach went exactly flat. That was That's how we celebrate Jesus. She was sick to the point that she could no longer move very well. She was stuck. Papa told her to go to church. Now, Baba, the first time, she couldn't come because she was not feeling well. Then, the second time is this one she's telling of, which is last week. And she came. Her stomach was literally bulging. She was seated just right there. I saw it. The other guys were round about, saw what the stomach was. If she can demonstrate, how much both it was she can, but instantly, instantly, our God is the miraculous God. She is totally healed. His stomach went very ill. Tell us, is there any pain inside your body now? So after church, I was one excited person. I just got home. So there's a girl that stays by the house. Then she says, Auntie, oh, how come? Your dress is longer than the way that it was in the morning. And I just said, look at me correctly. And then she said, what happened? And then I explained to her. So the first thing that I did when I got home, 
had to make sure that I cooked porridge so that I could see if I could take in something like that. I ate my porridge and it was late. The first thing that I said when I woke, woke up is, what is the most exciting thing that I can see this morning? If I could see that thing, life is good for me. I woke up and I found that I was now on my own.